I'd like to call this meeting to order. Will the clerk please read the statement? This is a meeting of the Township Council for Monday, November 26, 2018. Adequate notice of this meeting have been provided to the public and the press on January 5, 2018 and was posted on the bulletin board in the municipal building in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10, colon 4, and 7. Roll call. Councilmember Oom. Here. Councilmember Kadish. Here. Councilmember Van Tassel. Here. Councilmember Alberger. Here. Here. Please rise to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> This evening, uh, we'll start off with a proclamation. Will Council Member Ohms please read the Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month proclamation? Yes, sure. Whereas health and safety is important to the happiness, prosperity, and well-being of our communities and families, and whereas in 2018, an estimated 55,000 individuals will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in the United States, and whereas there is there are no effective early detection methods presented, uh, presently available, and most symptoms such as weight loss, loss of appetite, feeling tired, and pain in the upper of middle abdomen and back can be mistaken for chronic pains and could be attributed to other conditions. And whereas when symptoms of pancreatic cancer becomes apparent, it is usually after the cancer has advanced and spread to other organs. And whereas the good health and well-being of the residents in the township of Vernon are enhanced as a direct result of increased awareness about pancreatic cancer and research of early detection, causes, and effective treatments, and whereas throughout the month of November, organizations, health practitioners, and residents in the township and Vernon are encouraged to take the opportunity to promote awareness about pancreatic cancer and to support those patients currently battling pancreatic cancer and those who have lost loved ones to this horrible disease. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Township Council of the Township of Vernon that the month of November shall be proclaimed Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month in the Township of Vernon and urge all residents to recognize the need to bring awareness to the fight against this deadly disease. November 2018, Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month in Vernon Township. Signed by Harry Shortway and Jean Murphy. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to public comments. Um, this public comment session is for agenda items only. Uh, so if anyone has any comments, uh, there, you have uh, three minutes to comment on it. May I have a motion? Motion. Moment. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there anyone from the public that would like to step up have any comments on agenda items? Hi, my Hi. name is Colleen Lance Salati, and I live in High Ridge Estates. Um, it's not an agenda item. I just wanted to say thank you for doing that. Pancreatic cancer for November. I just had a good friend of mine pass away last Wednesday after finding out three weeks ago. She had pancreatic mm -hmm. and liver cancer and was gone in three weeks. So thank you. Thank you. That's all I Thank you. Is there anyone else? Seeing no one, may I have a motion to close? Motion. I have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Next we have our minutes. We have the special meeting minutes of November 5th, 2018. We have the executive session minutes of November 5th. 2018, our regular meeting minutes of November 8th, 2018, and the executive meeting minutes of November 8th, 2018. May I have a motion to adopt the regular and executive minutes for November 5th and November 8th? Motion. Uh, I have a first and okay. a second. Yeah. Roll call. Councilmember Holmes? Yes. Councilmember Kadish? Yes. Councilmember Van Tassel? Yes. Councilmember Alberger? Yes. Council President Murphy? Yes. Um, next, we have items for discussion. It's the best practices questionnaire uh, that was submitted to the state and is used in part to determine the township state aid. Um, our CFO, Donnell Bright, um, do you have any comments on the, the best practices that you would like to share? Um, um, yeah, first of all, just so you can get me on the record. 
Um, so the best practices is an annual um, survey that's sent out to municipalities that sort of uh, require fulfillment by the state. Um, this year is the first year I've seen such a long list of best practices. It's traditionally about 20, 25 um, questions, but I'm assuming with the change in administration at the state level, they've switched things up a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys have specific questions about the specific items that are on this. But just to just just to let you know, um, I did set, I did uh, provide all of you with the list of the best practices. For some reason, the second to last page it says the total number. I'm not sure why when I PDF'd it, it didn't calculate correctly. But the one that was sent to the state was correct. It was just off by one. So we have an 82, not an 84. Um, we're still in that range of um, full compliance. So we would get full energy receipts. So all right. So if we were not, that's when you would have probably come to us. For something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um, but do any council members have any questions? I think this is the first year I've seen uh, websites being listed as support area. I'm surprised that there are that many heads over in the left hand corner, and yet the answers are, seem to be reasonable. Yeah, we did reach out um, to our labor attorney, I believe um, the township attorney as well, on a couple of them. Um, as well as uh, the uh, land use board, the planner. Um, I reached out to the clerk for a couple of the answers. The engineer. The engineer as well, yes. And I did have to reach out to a state uh, regarding a couple of them. We would have had, we will, we anticipate if this was the same for next year, we anticipate having a lot more yeses uh, with regards to the updated uh, employee handbook because there were quite a few questions in there that we have addressed in the proposed handbook. It just hasn't been adopted yet. So the state advised us we couldn't. Okay. Yeah. Any no questions? No. All right. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Resolution eighteen two forty authorizing two two year contracts with Minerva Bunker Gear Cleaners through bid. 11R-218, negotiations under NJSA 40A colon 11-53. This authorizes the award of contract for gear for the fire department. Resolutions uh, 241, 242, and 243 authorize various change orders for the Barry Drive North and Wayway on the Road improvements. Resolution 18244, authorizing the mayor to sign a contract between the township and Delta Dental Plan Care for the Township of Vernon employees. This locks in the township rates for the next year. Resolution 18245, renewal of inactive liquor license HV Holdings LLC requiring special ruling in the Township of Vernon for the 2018-2019 licensing term. This renews that license. Excuse me. I'm asking for uh, 18246 to be held. I did not receive certification. Okay. Okay. And at this time, we will be removing resolution 18246 from the agenda. Um, I'll be separating out um, resolutions 240 and 244. Um, does the council need any others? Separated out. What was the other one you were? Two forty and two forty four. So may I have a motion to adopt resolutions two forty one through two forty three and resolution eighteen two forty five. Motion. May I have a second? Second. Second. Roll call. Yes. 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 Um, may I have a motion to adopt resolutions 18240 and 18244? I'll make a motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Member Holmes? Yes. 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 Member Yes. Abstain. President Murphy. Yes. Okay, we do not have any ordinances for first reading, so we'll go on to Ordinance 1830 uh, for a public hearing. It's the second reading of this ordinance. 
an ordinance amending various sections of the Code of the Township of Vernon. This amends various township codes in accordance with state statute, case law, and or practice. May I have a motion to open up for public hearing on Ordinance 1830? Motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there anyone from the public that would like to step forward, have any comments on this ordinance? Seeing no one, may I have a motion to close? Motion. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 1830? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Uh, Council President, if I may, I believe the mayor had a question regarding the ordinance. Under the sections for the public defender and the prosecutor, is right now it says approval of council. I believe it should be advice and consent of the council to stay with the same wording as our former governor under the Faulkner Act. That is the correction. And I'm currently, and as you're doing the statute is drafted, as it says that the council chooses the prosecutor and public defender, but the way that the correction is drafted, it says that the prosecutor and public defender is uh, chosen by the mayor with the advice and consent of the council. Okay. So that is the correction. All right. Okay. Yeah. Roll call. Did I get a motion and a second? Yes. Councilmember Ohms and uh, Kadish. Kadish, thank you. <laughs> uh, Councilmember Ohms? Yes. Councilmember Kadish? Yes. Councilmember Van Tassel? Yes. Councilmember Allberger? Yes. Council President Murphy? Yes. Uh, I'd like to go back to the question about 18 to 24. Yeah, I was curious as to out of all of them how we came to choose that one um, considering Etna was looks to me cheaper than some of the other ones well what's the advantage of going with the one we went with um, well we currently have Delta Dental um, that was actually a we reached out to our um, broker. broker. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. I apologize. Um, we reached out to our broker to do a review of our current plan and compare it to other plans um, and what their projected increases and decreases were for next year. Um, so Delta Dentals, based on their one-year or two-year plan, they had an increase over a two-year plan. I didn't think it was worth it considering if you looked at the other ones, they had overall decreases. Um, and I looked at the prior um, rates for the township and they didn't seem to be increasing so I didn't think it was a wise decision to increase rates at least for the next year it didn't make sense for me to lock in an increase over the over two years do you have any other questions council member Katie <coughs> did you have any other questions on that no. okay. okay thank you Next, we have our second uh, public session. Again, um, your time is limited to three minutes, and this is on any uh, on any issue. May I have a motion to open to motion. public comment? May I, have a, may I have a first and a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Is there anyone from the public that have any comments that would like to step forward? Please do so. Seeing no one, may I have a motion to motion. close? May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Thank you. Mayor's report. Thank you. Our, our second annual turkey trot was held in the frigid temperatures of Thanksgiving Day morning. There were 110 runners, 150 runners prepaid. Uh, we had dozens of people uh, attended. Uh, the monies collected will be donated to the Harvest House, and I'd like to thank everybody that ran everybody that was there to cheer on and I think our rec department with help from the other committees they all did a really good job on that that morning it really warms you up to see how that community comes out to uh, run in cold weathers and root people on and raise money for those less fortunate than us Vernon Township's annual community tree lighting will be uh, take place this Friday November 30th it will run from 6 30 p.m. to 8 o'clock and it's at the Vernon Firehouse on uh, County Route 515. This year, uh, we're going to do a Whoville theme, something new. It is try to have a theme here, and people are welcome to dress the parts, so to speak, and be a Dr. Seuss character or 
Um, I guess I get to be the mayor. Uh, the event is free and it's sponsored by our Board of Rec and the PAL. Uh, so I, I hope everybody can attend this. It'll be a great community affair. Uh, once again, it is time to think about the local wreaths across uh, America effort this year. The wreath laying cer ceremony will be on Saturday, December, December 15th at 12 noon. It's at the Glenwood Cemetery, and that's 926 Route 517 in our town. Uh, you do not have to sponsor a wreath to attend, but if you want to sponsor a wreath, you can go to the Glenwood Cemetery page, and on the WAA website, you click it there, and you could sponsor a wreath for $15. I really urge uh, people to come on. It's a very worthwhile event, and plus you're honoring the memories of those who fought for us and served for us. Um, dress warm, usually it's snowing and raining, but uh, that's a little sacrifice for what they've done for us. Uh, that's it, thank you. Thank you. Next we have council comments. Um, council member Orberger. My only comment I have is I'm on the fire department and it's chimney fire season. Make sure you get a reputable, reputable company to clean because we just responded to one that had supposedly been cleaned and it had not. So just check on who you use. No, other than that, I have no comment. Council Member Van Tessel. No comment. Council Member Ohms. No comment. Council Member Kadish. I have a question. Um, I noticed in the bills list there was an item, I think item number five on the front page, a $500, $500,000 cash indication. Just kind of curious what that was about. Do you have that with you? Uh, well, you have it there, right? I don't think I have it. So I'm checking. No. Transfer of funds. The Lakeland Bank. That's that's most likely a transfer of funds from our ACH. So we have um, our. When people make tax payments online, it goes to a specific ACH clearing account, and then we move the money from there into the current fund account. Mm -hmm. So that's most likely what it was. I don't, I don't have a copy of it. It's from the tax payment. Sounds like that's yeah. correct. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, no further comments. Thank you. Um, the only comment I have is uh, we, we're, you're going to have budget meetings uh, this week, and I did not bring my paper. Is it on the 29th and on the 30th? The 28th and 29th. The Wednesday 28th. And Thursday. The Wednesday and Thursday. And just uh, to know, I know you already had budget meetings with department heads. Um, there is a meeting on the 29th um, that I know maybe uh, some council members might be attending. I know myself and Dan, so, um, and it may interfere, so. I know I will try to make it, but for the public, um, if you'd like to attend any of the meetings during the day, um, what time do they start? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. on the 20th. They run all day. 9, 9 a.m. on the 28th and 29th right here in this room. So if you wanted to come in here, preliminary budget hearings, um, you can come here. Um, other than that, motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.